Nikki run an ad and what they did was they put this video in, in a other site. Let us say Times of India for example sake I'm telling Times of India. Now when the crawler comes in, it will come and crawl and if, if there is an ad, it should be blocked. Correct? It should not crawl that ad because ads are completely different from regular search results. So what they did was this was this block ad block was not there. So what that means this crawler came and crawled also this ad it went to Google Chrome ad, which is it is passing some credit to the ad as well. Eventually it should not. So this is a violation of Google's guidelines. It's a violation of Google's. So if it is violating. What will what will happen? Nice. It will penalize. So in this case, what will happen? Did Google what will Google do? Google fire the agency? Maybe. What do you think? So it actually penalized its own Google Chrome. Did we discuss this? No. For you, maybe not. Some of them we discussed. But Google actually penalized their own site for 60 days. That means in 60 days, if you search in Google for Google Chrome, it will not show up. Okay? So can you search for Google Chrome penalized in Google? You will get the details about this. Google Chrome penalized. Okay, so this Google and also top brands penalized by Google. Okay, not only this, they penalized BMW, uh, Washington Post, New York Times, I know, Forbes magazine. So they penalized a lot of sites. Okay, so that is also part of their algorithm. You get that? Matt Kutz saw this and then he said, yes, it is a violation of Google's guidelines. So we will penalize our own site. So been penalized five times. Yes. Okay, so that is how serious they are. Alright, so this one was the Florida update was one of the biggest update. And then they came up with another update called Caffeine Update. Caffeine update, on the other hand, it is for penalizing. This one was a good update. It is a good one. So what, what do you mean by good is, before Google used to crawl the website once in six months if it is a new site. But when caffeine came in, the crawl cycle became faster. That means every, even next half an hour your website might be crawled. So it became faster. Okay, so like this, and then there is uh, one more update called Google Dance. Google Dance is nothing but once in a year they will change their algorithm, and then that time there will be a shake. So they call it as Google Dance. So there will be a shake in the it will all go in the search engine results page. Some of them will go down, and some of them will go up. So that was the Google Dance, or there was another one called Florida Dance too. So like this, every year they come up with a thing. So there was one more update called Mayday update. So during the month of May, there will be a shakeup. Small shakeup, but some of the sites might be affected. But what was the digit Mayday and why they do that? Well, which one? Mayday, Mayday or Google Dance. It's like your engine. Your, your, your motorcycle or your car needs an engine, right? You tune up. It's like a, you know, you're putting up new oil, and you know, it needs a because it has to run. It's an algorithm, right? It's a computer-based this thing. So it needs some kind of, you know, how do you say? It's cleanup or wash. So during that time, there will be a impact. Okay, you got it. Okay, so then there is 
lots of update, updates. Then there was another one called as farmer update. This was, was huge. Farmer update. What do you mean by farmer? Something to do with making farms. Farms. So there is a lot of people was doing content farming. So it is like farming, right? You know, they, they start to write content. Like we talked about how to pour water in a glass. Do you need an article for that? Who will be doing that? The water bottle companies. They'll come up with articles, how to pour water in a glass. So those are all content farming. And then they were ranking for water and glass. Okay? So Google went after these ones and then they made the affiliate sites by doing all those things. And Google said, we are going to look into this. This is not high quality content. This quality of the content is so bad that we will penalize. The sites which is shallow content, which means shallow content is nothing but content that is not useful. Content that is not useful. So if your website has got some content which is not useful, we will penalize your site. Okay? So this was major one it came up. And then some of the SEO uh, community and people went and saw this one and then they asked Google, Google, is there an update? But normally Google won't tell if there is an update. This community will go and see, you see, we saw some rankings completely down. We did some research. So then Google will say, yes, we did an update. Then Google said, yes, we did an update, which is known as Panda update. So then they, it was not farmer. This farmer update, the SEO community gave a name called farmer update. Then Google said, yes, it is an update. It is called Panda update. What do you mean by Panda? Hmm? So that's what they refer to, Panda, right? But actually, this update was done by the engineer, Navneet Panda. Panda is an Indian... Navneet Panda is an Indian engineer who was behind this algorithm. So that's why they named it as Panda update. Okay, this is about all about high quality content. This is all about content. Keep that in mind. You might have to... Lot of site has been penalized. Like, for example, Diki, Diki How got penalized. Um, Mahalo, there's a huge site that got penalized. They shut down. No more business after that. This is a completely easy article was penalized during Panda update. So all these updates was penalized. Sites were penalized. So that is Panda update. And then Panda 1.0 came in. 3.0, now it is somewhere around you know, 25 different updates, 28 different updates. So they find you that Panda itself. So what happens is when they penalize, for example, Wikihow, Wikihow was a good site, you guys know, right? But what they did was Wikihow said, see, Google, we are not doing any black hat. It is by a mistake. Then what will happen is Google will actually train the system to correct it. So that is why they come up with the version 2.0, 3.0. So what will happen is they will not go and manually <coughs> remove this. So in 2.0, what will they will they will fine tune this algorithm so that it it will not penalize all these sites. Got it? So this is planned update. Then came up what is the seventh eighth one? Then they came up with penguin update. Penguin update is nothing but this is about content, this is all about links. If you get links from a bad neighborhood or from a directory, bad directory, like for example, network, blog network was a directory, it was affected. All the people who are bloggers, right, will go and submit in blog network. It's not a high quality directory. So all the site which has been listed there also was penalized. Okay. This is all about high quality links. This is about content. These two are major. Florida was major, and this one was major. This one was major. 
Penguin updates. Penguin updates also, it is now 4.2 or something. 4.1, I think. Okay, so they come up with the algorithm every single time. So this, this happened in 2011. And this one is somewhere around 2013. Okay, and then came up with hummingbird algorithm. What is this? This one is 2013 December or something or 14, I'm not sure. Yes, 13. August. August 2013. What is this? Any idea? Hummingbird? Semantic search, no? So yes, semantic search exactly. What do you mean by hummingbird? What what does hummingbird does? What is it known for? That bird. That bird is known for speed. You know the this thing. So it is all about speed and voice. So now the Google Voice search came in. That is what hummingbird. Okay, and then what? Speed or voice? What is it? Speed. Both. Because when you search in Google Voice, what will happen? You get the results. It yeah. gets much more faster. Okay. So that's why speed is. Yes. Okay, that is the hummingbird. Then they came up with the pigeon update. Pigeon update is nothing but local. That is the local maps and other things. The quality of the local listings, which we did right now, Google My Business. And then we recently came across, which one? What is that? Mobile get off. This was in April 2015. They said, if your website is not compatible with mobile, we are going to Penalize, I mean, in the mobile version, your site will not rank. Mobile, mobile Agathon. So, your site should be mobile friendly. That is what it is. Google Mobile Friendly Update. Known as Google Mobile Friendly Update. So, Google is giving more and more importance. And they said, uh, we will give you time till April to change your website to mobile friend okay and then now there is phantom update if this is also some of the quality of the quality it's not that big but still right now it is okay so these are the updates that is, in between there is a lot of updates too, small, small updates. You can find by googling it, Google's algorithm, algo update, Moz. They have a, so Moz is a website, they have a, by from 2000, from 2000 they have all the links and updates so far, what is it? Okay, so this is the Google algorithm. So now we are going to also find out, see, there are some blogs and resources that we have to go through. What is the problem with Google? Why not you go Google everything? There are a lot of people who are manipulated and still it will come. So we don't know whether we are reading the right from the right authority or no. So we need to know for each, for example, if there is Google update, where to go and find it. If there is update about uh, YouTube, where do you find? Where do you find now? You have to keep up to date, right? How do you keep up to date? Nowhere. So we need to at least spend like 20 minutes daily with these resources. If you spend, you are going to keep up to date with yourself. Because that is an important skill as a marketer. It's all because it's changing quite often. We need to know where to go to find information, which is what Barani is going to discuss. Okay, and any questions from the audience? Anything? Someone asked about Black Hat. Black Hat. Black Hat SEO is going against the guidelines from Google. 
Any other questions? Okay, so we are looking at what now? Blogs and resources burning? Yeah. Okay. So now Barani is going to give you some links. He's going to give you some links where to find all those information. And he's going to explain some of the things. What what that website you can find. For example, Google Webmaster Guidelines is where you go for all the updates. Okay, no questions. Enjoy the session. There is more to come. Blogs and resources. So please bookmark these websites. Go go to the site and bookmark it. Okay, com score. Think with Google dot com. IAMAI, that is Indian Association for Mobile and Internet. Pew Research. Forrester. Barani's voice is a bit low. Please tell him to be loud. Lighthouse Insights. IN. Think with Google is from Google itself. It's got a lot of resources. Guy Kawasaki. Guy Kawasaki. Guy Kawasaki. Can you just go to Guy Kawasaki? Gary Vayner Chuck. Avinash Kaushik. Guy Kawasaki. Just do us. So, yeah, I mean, these are some of the industry experts that you might need to follow. Their blogs. And of course, TED is nothing but for presentation and. Please show the research websites. I'll take a screenshot. Uh, Comscore, Think with Google, IAMAI, Pew Research, Forrester, IDC. Conferences. Uh, social media week, you can add. So that is SM week is social media week. And social media day is happening this 30th. You guys are coming, right? 30th. Popcorn TFMA, TFMA, Technology for Marketer and Advertisement or something like that. MozCon, Social Media Week, Social Media Examiner, Inbound. So this June 30th, if you are here, that would be a good. Uh, Avishek, you are going to come? Uh, I might be there. Okay, it's a, it's a nice this thing. You guys can come if you guys are available. Uh, that is social conclave, whole day workshop. 
So books. Yes. So books to read. Jab, 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 right hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. Web Analytics 2.0 by Avinash Kaushik. Control Alt Delete by Mitch Joe. How's the birthday girl? Yeah, she had some good time. She is interacting too. Zero Paid Media. What would Google do by Jeff Jarvis? Startup Saturday conferences. Startup Saturday is happening in India. In Bangalore, they have every every first Saturday they meet up. Second Saturday. Second Saturday. Okay. So podcast, we have to include Digital <coughs> India podcast first. Add that Digital yeah, India podcast. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, it is called Social Media World world social media world they have two different conferences one is a virtual conference people can attend from anywhere okay Why are so few people using Periscope? Uh, why? Why you guys answer? Why are few people and not using Periscope? Only few people are. No exposure. One, I think there's no exposure, and they are scared. People are scared to do live because you know. Yeah, doesn't support all those smartphones. Yes. What's the advantage of Periscope over something like Google Hangouts? <laughs> but it's, see, um, see, this is integrated with uh, Twitter. So the advantage is it goes there and updates, right? But uh, there's no automated this thing. And of course, uh, they came up something new. Anything that new comes up, you know, it's automatically picks up, right? So where should we follow these guys? Twitter. Okay. So SEO experts. These are some of the SEO experts. You can follow them in their own blog. For example, Ran Fishkin as uh, Ragos Moz blog. So you can go there. Danny Sullivan runs the search engine Land. And Whiteboard Whiteboard Friday is for uh, from Moz. Matt Cuts has got his own website. Will Reynolds, um, I think, is Seer Interactive. Will Reynolds is from Seer Interactive. Barry Schwartz is a um, search engine search engine watch. He runs the search engine watch. You're welcome, Vinu. Uh, Guy Kawasaki. It's Guy Kawasaki. That's his own site is there, right? And see, and also if you just do a Google search, their LinkedIn profile is much more active. For example, they might write in LinkedIn Pulse, the, all these people. Uh, of course, they have Facebook page too and Twitter. And mobile marketing, we have Cindy Crum, Mobile World Congress, Google Mobile Playbook, MMA Global India. Google Analytics support and Google Analytics, Google Analytics University, I think. Hmm? Yeah, Google Analytics University, and it's got a YouTube channel too. Chris Brogan is not for analytics, it is for uh, for um, social media. 
नील पटेल यस अविनाश कौशिक यस क्रेजी एग इस नील पटेल्स वेबसाइट क्रेजी एग he's got several other no michael hayat no 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 michael hayat for blogs for leadership yeah for content copy blogger pro blogger content content marketing institute what is it a w e b e r a w e b e r it's a webber b b b a yes we will share the entire board picture yes we will do that uh, vinita yes chris brogan is uh, is email you can subscribe to his email chrisbrogan.com he's not a content writer right? he's a general social media of course he talks a lot about content so adwords blog adwords community ppc hero click what is that yeah click marketing click marketing is for uh, for the education right mooc is for education it's a it's a platform like coursera yeah it's like coursera yeah mm. like this content marketing yeah. so is there a mooc for ppc is one you can find institute some of the this thing there this is a uh, uh, most important thing all the social media sites and website has got their own blog google official blog for example google has got youtube official youtube blog 
Google AdWords blog, Google Webmaster guidelines blog, Webmaster central blog, and they have a YouTube channel, Google Webmaster central YouTube channel. You are a teacher? Yes, we are teaching digital marketing. It's webmarketingacademy.in. That's our website. Check it out. And our Facebook page, Facebook Web Marketing Academy. We post all those things in our Facebook page as well. Distilled.net, HubSpot, LeadSquire, Google Learning Center, Parani, they are giving a lot of hearts, thank you, thank you. Audio, books, is that it? Yeah. Audio books and podcast, is it? Thanks, Karan. Digital India podcast. That's where Barani does all the all the editing and uploading and all those things. Barani does it. So that's is first on the list. Is that right, Barani? Yeah. Okay, FIR, which is uh, FIR podcast network actually for immediate release podcast network. They have a bunch of uh, podcasts you guys can listen to. What is that? Reply All. Serial. Startup. Yeah, Startup. I think the episode is over. Uh, uh, Digital India Podcast, FAR Podcast, um, Webmaster radio.fm it's a huge channel webmaster radio.fm everything you name digital marketing affiliate is there so it's a 24 7 radio channel it is called webmaster radio.fm 24 7 Okay, so for those who are watching and if you want to take a, a screenshot, you can just take a screenshot right from there. Uh, the power button and then this, what is power it? Huh? Power and down. Power and down. This this, yeah. Yes, power and, and this, so you can take a screenshot. Okay, we have uh, people from Lighthouse uh, 
Prashant from Lighthouse Insights comes and talks about uh, social and other things in our social conclave this 30th of June. Okay, email constant contact blog, MailChimp blog, exact target blog, Aweber blog. Four hour work week by Tim Ferriss. That's it, Bernie? MIT, yeah, MIT, uh, they have, MIT and Stanford and Harvard has got their own podcast as well, you guys can check it out. Uh, Stanford, I think it's called IdeaCast. Yeah, IdeaCast. It's their own podcast. And uh, HBR, HBR actually comes up with a monthly audio book. You can listen to audio book, the same print. Yeah. You can find that in Audible, that is also another resource. Audible is for audio books, where you can find a lot of books. Audible, it's a paid one, but you can find a lot of audio books. Alright guys, uh, that's it for now. We will see you soon. Guys, this is Afternoon Batch from Web Marketing Academy. And they are all working for four of three of them are working for Decathlon. And Avik is there, Avishek is there, Barani is there. Bye for now. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.